from below. whole sandbag lifted straight up. Unreal. What a powerful uppercut. That power doesn't come from just strength. It requires a spring that can carry the charge throughout the body. Now I got it. That's where all the squats pay off. Wow. That was a solid impact. We're still far from perfect. <laughs> but that force you just felt will always be there. That's a lethal weapon of Floyd Patterson. He reigned twice as the world's heavyweight champion. That's what Patterson called the gazelle punch. The gazelle punch. <sighs> you spring like a gazelle and throw all your weight into the hit. If you could land a blow like that, you could knock out a Terminator. But with such a big swing to throw the punch, will it actually hit? It will. Uh, and it's what you're gonna need if you're gonna have any hope of standing up against Vorg's ability. Uh, It'll be just like this. You need to do a return barrage at point-blank range. From this distance, there shouldn't be any problem in reaching him, right? Well, you won't be able to throw an effective gazelle punch because you'll be too close. So the first thing you gotta do is destroy your opponent's stance with your barrage. Try it out, but don't hit me! Yes, sir! Go even faster! Don't stop! Keep going! Faster! You're not there yet! That's where you get them. A barrage is just like exercise without oxygen. It's a test to see who can hold their breath the longest. I want you to smash him in half with your gazelle punch as soon as he runs out of breath and starts to flush. So, it's like an endurance test. What'll happen if he's able to hold his breath longer than I can? Why, you thinking about losing already? Get your head straight! Sorry, sir. When I'm through with you, your cardiopulmonary system will be in such great shape you'll think you had an extra set of lungs. Now get ready to run yourself silly, kid! Right. Well, what do you think? It's crazy enough to work, but there's just one little thing. What? You think there's a problem? I looked it up, and Vorg is derived from the Russian word for wolf. A wolf versus a gazelle. I gotta say, no matter how you look at it, it's not very encouraging. You got it. What is your impression of him? He's a good athlete, and he's got a lot of fighting spirit. His best trait is that he improves in every match. He becomes stronger, like a different person. Do you foresee any chance of losing the fight? From what I've seen, the fight's nothing I can't handle. But the boxer I finally meet is going to be different from the one I've watched on these videos. That's because he has a very good trainer, and up till now his theory has been very effective. He balances the cold logic of scientific strategy with the fiery willpower of the boxer. And if there's any chance of an opening, he will know it already. So be careful. Yes, sir. He fights with extraordinary strength. But what really impresses me most about him... is that big, smiling face. He looks like he's having fun. He must really love boxing. I wish I did. Nine. Go on and give me eight reps of the 100 meter dash, and show me you can do it under three minutes. Yes, sir. Nine, attack! You gotta stand it! That tummy ache's not gonna go away with more placing into you! Come on, kid, don't let him push you back! In an in-fight struggle, the one without bodily strength will tire! Listen, you're not gonna reach for it with a handful of techniques. You have to catch.
catch him with your mind, intimidation, and willpower. You can do it if you try, that's all there is to it. Fine. Step in faster! You're not springing from your knees! That's good, you finally got all eight sets in under three minutes! But this is no time for a beauty sleep! Back to the gym for mid-punching! You know, it's less than a month until the match. You think he might be overdoing it a little bit? Uh huh? Don't be ridiculous. The Chief would never push someone beyond their limit. He's way too careful. You know, if it was any other fight, I'd be agreeing with you. But I have a sneaking suspicion that Borg's trainer put a bug up his rear end. <laughs> be careful, Lipo. There's a lot of guys who end up falling on their faces because they worked way too hard. Uh -huh. Even massaging it myself doesn't make the swelling go down. The Chief's never led me wrong in the past, but maybe I am a little overworked. Yoo-hoo! Anybody home? Huh? Hello? <sighs> I'm coming! Oh, hang on, I'll be right there! Oh, well, how can I help you? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, Ippo, it's been so long! What? I've been watching your fights. You've been really busy, haven't you? <sighs> Dr. Yamaguchi! Are you home alone, Ippo, dear? Yeah, well, um, Mom went out for night fishing, but please come on in. It's great to see ya. Well then, okay, let's go to any room with a futon. <laughs> so, what brought you around here this evening? Now, you come over here. What? Let's go ahead and get started, okay? Get started doing what? <laughs> come on, hurry. <laughs> Yes. All right. I'm ready. You silly. Lie on your stomach. I won't be able to give you a massage like that. Oh, it's a massage. I'm sorry. I'm so tired. I don't know what I was thinking. The chief asked huh? me to see you. He did? Oh, your muscles are definitely on the verge of being overworked. Yeah? 800 meter dashes in three minutes, huh? He makes you do eight reps of running to give you enough stamina for eight rounds of fighting. <sighs> You're developing really good muscles, full of oxygen. <laughs> you won't run out of air during the match with these bad boys helping out. So the dart and dash training's paying off. And from the squats, you have some extra spring. Yeah, I think it's really improved my attack power. And it's also increased your defensive power. What? Springing power will also let you absorb a punch. Your knees have been conditioned into two strong shock absorbers. They'll be able to take the edge off some really powerful blows. <sighs> I tell you, the Chief never fails to impress me. Each and every one of his techniques is firmly rooted in sound medical science. Well, just as long as you get plenty of rest whenever you need it, you should be in top condition when you hit the ring. <laughs> Is it that you're worried about Epo? No, there should be nothing to worry about. I went ahead and consulted a specialist. Hey, Chief, you're not still sore about those things that Coach Ramuda brought up. Yes. There's still a whole bunch of little details that I won't be able to get to before the fight. Only way to take care of him is on the mental front. I pushed him to max out his effort and increase his willpower. And in return, he gave me unquestioning faith and responded fully to every aspect of his training. It's enough to make me nervous. When a trainer sees an athlete full of natural ability, he wants to mold the talent his own way. He wants to raise the athlete to his own ideals. And by doing so, many promising boxers are ruined before their time. I really think you're being too hard on yourself. Your style of training has never been anything like that. There isn't one boxer at our gym that doesn't respond to your coaching technique, boss. Look around. Every single kid at Kamogawa Gym loves boxing. Hmm. Don't take my word for it. Ask Ipo when you get a chance. Huh? 
Good morning. Damn, you're awfully loud today. I woke up today feeling like I got a brand new body thanks to you. Really, sir, Dr. Yamaguchi's totally amazing. Skip the commercial, kid. You all warmed up and ready to go? Sure am. Ready to rumble. Lead the way, Chief. Hmm. All right. The dark dash. Yeah. In seven rounds by TKO, A.G. Date successfully defends his title. <sighs> Great fighter. He dominated every round. He just fought the top-ranked challenger and didn't even give the guy a chance to make his move. I have to train harder. I can't possibly reach him. Ah, uh, excuse me. I'm having problem. I'm afraid it's serious trouble. Uh, um, Borg, it's you. I was hoping you were Ippo Makanouchi. What a relief. Uh, what brings you here? Did you come to watch the big fight too? Yes. So how did you get in trouble? Well, after the match, all of a sudden, there are all these people. I cannot even see my feet. And the person who came with me, gone. I've been stranded. I tried to go home by myself. I can't read the sign. I see. <laughs> Do you know the name of your station? I'll just buy you a ticket. Oh. You are just like I imagined. Huh? Would you like to talk for a while? I know we must fight when we get in the ring, but this doesn't mean we can't talk. Um, I suppose we could. Um, well, so, sure has gotten cold, hasn't it? He's cold? That's what this feels like to Japanese people? Um, sure it does. I mean, it's almost winter. To me, it's nice and warm. The winters in Russia go to minus 20 degrees Celsius. Wow, minus 20 degrees Celsius? I come from town near St. Petersburg. When winter comes, we have endless fields of snow. And all you can hear is the lonely echo of the blizzard and the distant howling of the wolves. Oh. But anyway, that's not what I wanted to say. If we ever met, I wanted to ask you something. Huh? What is it? Many, many times I've watched the videos of your fights. And the more that I study these videos, the more something began to bother me. What could it be? Did he see a quirk in the way I punch? Something in the straight? The uppercut? Your face. Huh? I want to ask you this question. Do you really like boxing? What? Do I really like it? Uh, gosh! Well, I... Uh... Yes! I love it! I just love to box! Uh, why would you ask me that, Borg? Don't you like it? I don't understand. Do I have to like it to do it? Uh, no, that's not what I meant, but... Our punches. They're so powerful that we can deliver a fatal blow to a normal man. Our hands are lethal. When I stop to think about this, it makes me very frightened. But if you feel that way about it, then why have you made a career out of boxing? I want to drink hot soup. Hot soup? Back in my homeland, my mother waits for me. She was forced to raise me all by herself. It took a great toll on her health. Uh, the winters back home are bitter and harsh. If I get my chance in this country, I'll receive lots of money, and I'll give my mother the help she needs. I want to go back home and drink the soup she made when she was healthy. I see. Now it all makes sense. That's why he looked so sad back then. Please don't worry about it. We should fight at full power when we meet in the ring. Uh, right. As an amateur, I've been in over 200 matches and watched many different boxers. And I have no doubt that a person with your qualities will become a great fighter. Oh, wow, really? You mean that? Thank you so much! Of course, we're enemies, so this is strange. Wouldn't you agree? 
Um, well, now that you mention it... Despite this nice talk, please be prepared to lose against me. <laughs> because I'm going to win. Well, I'll keep that in mind, but I'm also going to do my best. Wait! For my mom. He's an incredible guy. He continues to win, fighting through his loneliness in a foreign land. I wonder, can I beat him? That was one freaky gaijin. He looked like he needed help, but you don't want to get too involved with crazy foreigners. Right. I forgot he's lost. I'm having trouble. Or... I'm really having serious trouble. My friend is gone. I don't know how to go home. I cannot read the signs. Wow, would you look at that? I can't believe the way he keeps hitting that mitt square on. You know what that's all about, don't you? The chief told me that when they're working with a the round mitt, they're practicing it. Practicing it? All right, boy, show me the white bag! <laughs> huh? What happened? He moved so fast, I couldn't see what he did. It's an uppercut and a chopping right. He throws the punch from top and bottom almost simultaneously. So it's moving at super speed. It's scary when you stop and think that mitt could be someone's head. It's like some kind of a wild animal chomped down on it. What a secret weapon. The White Fang. Faster, faster, faster! You're almost there! Stop breathing! Persevere! Persevere! Come on, faster, faster! All right, this is Mark's chair! Hit it! Makanauchi, do you like boxing? I'll bet my love of boxing is the only thing Vorg will never beat me at. No matter how painful it gets, no matter how powerful my opponent may be, that love will always inspire me to try harder. I'll do my best. I'll do my best! Are you all right? Talk to me. Stay. Stay here with me, my darling. Mama. Try to be patient. I'll keep on winning my matches, and then I'll come home. I'll come home to drink your hot soup. I swear. Welcome, fans, to the A-Class Tournament. It's time for the final showdown in the featherweight division. We've watched the drama unfold all summer. Now, who will move on to the title match? Our commentators tonight are two of the most powerful boxers in the country. Japan's reigning featherweight champion, Eiji Date. It's an honor. And Japan's flamboyant middleweight champion, Mamoru Takamura. In the flesh. What's he wearing? Was that get-up tailor-made for the broadcast? He looks like a Vegas lounge singer. So, what do the two experts predict? It could get interesting if Makanouchi connects with his lucky punch. But there is a difference in these two young boxers' abilities. The odds are 7 to 3 in Vorg's favor. Mr. Conventional, I'm a gambler, so I'm going with the underdog. Epo's gonna win by KO. Oh! Well, you have the right to your opinion. Boxing certainly is unpredictable. There could be an upset. Somebody shoot me before I get old. Advanced age is making you cautious. <laughs> I'd expect that from a young punk. Really, Grandpa? <laughs> How about a bet? You got it, you rhinestone bastard! Thanks, jackass! Cut, cut! Hit the delay button! Ladies and gentlemen, the final match in the featherweight class will commence momentarily! We've been waiting for this match in Ohuchi! Don't let all this noise get to you. It's going to stop cold once you get out there and shake him up. Do you think this match is going to be decided by your precious willpower? We'll see how far it gets you. Mmm, damn you and your damn condescending snicker. All right, this is it. I want you to go out there and pound him into oblivion. Got it? What's he 
something, you kid! The bell's about to ring! Get out there and intimidate! Right! I don't know. Something's wrong. Even when I get nervous in the green room, I always shake it off once I get in the ring. Makanouchi, under different circumstances, we could have been good friends. But Mama needs me. Just think of our meeting as an unfortunate trick of fate. He's a changed person from the other day. The pressure's so intense, it feels like the ring is shrinking. different punches. By consecutively throwing punches from different angles, you can break down the opponent's guard and score a hit. He follows me like a shadow and keeps connecting hard. But I can't be intimidated by his punching power. I can't back off. I have to go forward and fight it out. I have to dive in at point-blank range and launch a return barrage. Next round, the Red Wolf. <laughs> 